Ah, 2023. The new year has finally arrived. And a new year means new opportunities for all of us. To touch some grass, to travel the world, and perhaps even meet that special someone. Ah, who am I kidding? It's another banger year to sit inside and play an ungodly amount of video games. And playing games I shall, cause there's so many of them. With the first one of the bunch being Dead Space. The survival horror classic is back this January, getting a full-on remake from the ground up for next-gen consoles and PC. I can't believe it's been 10 years since we last saw it. And its last appearance with Dead Space 3 wasn't exactly that great. I smell bullshit. The gamer EA threw the entire horror aspect of the game out the window, cause why not, and implemented a co-op system, tons of action set pieces, and those sweet microtransactions. What? What the fuck? Cause that's what the fanbase wants. Right guys? I'm not really sure. Just shut up and do as we say. Then when the game failed and single player games started dying, according to them, they fired the entire development team and buried the franchise somewhere in a dark corner for it to never be seen again. Until at least... Hey boss, did you hear about how much money the Resident Evil 2 remake made? And there it is, the franchise is back from the dead. What a surprise. And it looks really good on top of that. It seems like the new team at Motive is very passionate about it and wants to get every aspect of it right. Return the franchise to its original form of being a terrifying sci-fi horror. And with the original Death Space being my first ever horror game, this game sure is going to bring back sweet memories. And talking about memories, right after that in February, it's time for Hogwarts Legacy, a game I'm also really looking forward to as a uh, huge Harry Potter nerd myself. Yep, read all the books, watched the movies, played all the games. No, that's actually a fat lie. Don't burn me at the stake for saying this, Harry Potter fans, but the only Harry Potter content I ever consumed is The Deadly Hallows Part 1. Okay, well... That's random. But as a big RPG fan, I can't help to be excited about it. It looks really good too. And of course, you know, it being an RPG, I'm going probably going to spend all my time being an absolute evil little shit using the teachings I learned for absolute evil. I'm gonna cry. Speaking about RPGs, the Japanese ones are even better. Like a Dragon Ishin, the next batshit insane Yakuza game, this time taking place in 1860 Japan, where we play as Kiryu again who is himself portraying a badass samurai named Sakamoto Ryoma san yo. The main reason I love this franchise so much is just because of how damn wacky it is. It's just a genuinely funny game series and it always manages to get a smile on my face when I'm playing it. And the mini games, man, don't get me started on them. And this is the best one, you know, I don't care. I was absolutely addicted to it back when I was playing it in Yakuza 0 and that shit is absolutely lit. I know, I know how it looks, but I swear, when you play it, that's when you get it. But back to Like a Dragon Ishin, I can't wait for what this new game has in store for us. I am totally in. Now after that, it's time for yet again, I know, another remake. You know, it's, it is year of the remakes, but it happens to be a remake of one of my favorite horror games ever, so you don't hear me complaining. Resident Evil 4, the game where you play as Leon Kennedy, who is sent as a special agent to a small Spanish village to rescue the president's daughter Ashley Graham from a bunch of parasite-infected hillbillies. And all that he does only equipped with the power of epic one-liners. <laughs> Monsters. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was uh, a bit tied up. You sent my right hand to be 
dispose of you. Your right hand comes off. Just because I killed my small time subordinate. Sadler, you're small time. She is. No way, Leon. Way. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. <laughs> My god, what a chad. From the gameplay we've seen of the remake, Capcom seemed to go for a pretty faithful approach. And as a huge Resident Evil fan, this is actually one of my most anticipated games next year. It seems to go for the perfect approach to combine both modernized, terrifying survival horror and that sweet cheese we all know and love from the original. And oh boy, the cheese definitely has been carried over. As in the very first gameplay reveal, we saw Leon stop a giant chainsaw with his small little knife and watch him set a cow on fire and then remark Kill me for the repairs later! Pretty safe to say Leon is back, baby. Where's everyone going? Bingo? You know what else is back? The Legend of Zelda franchise with Tears of the Kingdom. It's the sequel to Breath of the Wild. And what else is there to say? It's Zelda. Meaning it's a certified banger no matter what. And even Nintendo knows this. Because it comes out in May and we've barely seen anything of it. Let's finish off with another Japanese game on my list. Yeah, I know, another one. But oh boy, I'm excited for this one. Final Fantasy 16. The next mainline Final Fantasy game that is going to be an absolutely high budget spectacle. Just like it always is. I'm a relatively new fan to the franchise. You know, since Boy Band Simulator 15 was my first game. But since then I got to discover so much about it amazing worlds it's you know amazing characters the amazing music that i all fell deeply 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 in love with with the game guys i fell deeply in love with the game don't get distracted now. Anyway, 16 is the newest installment in the franchise and this time we play as Clive Rosefield to go on a quest to avenge your brother and we seemingly get that revenge by beating the shit out of icons aka gods in true JRPG fashion. And on gods, I can't get enough of this over the top Final Fantasy goodness, it's just amazing. And these were just a few games coming in the first half of 2023 that I'm excited about. But there's loads more coming next year that I didn't even mention yet. I'm talking about Atomic Heart, Suicide Squad, Starfield, Diablo 4, Silent Hill 2, Alan Wake 2, Hollow Knight, Silk Song, Street Fighter 6, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Stalker 2, Spider-Man 2, Assassin's Creed Marriage, Armored Core 6, Lies of P, Lords of the Fallen, Wolf Among Us 2, Pragmata. I'm broke.